What is up, DFX? Back for another Market Watch video. Before we get into the video, gotta say what up to my boy, the Butcher 105. What's up, baby? What is up, DFX? I am ready to hear where these books are at after a couple of months. We've all seen them on the channel before. We've all been watching them. So, so let's see what the market's doing. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So Jay hasn't seen the data yet. I've seen the data, so it'll be fun to watch him react live. The last time we did this was in November. We're doing it again today in March. Today's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, all right? Uh, so if you don't know what we do here, we take a look at GPA analysis. We take a look at the website. We take a look at the last sales, the 90-day, the trends, uh, the graph. But what we do that's a little different than most people is we take a snapshot from the time period before, and then we compare the two time periods, which obviously you can't do when you're looking at the data live. So it's nice to have that that snapshot in time from a previous time period. So like I said, the last time we did that was in November. So let's take a look and compare what's happened over the last four months. And I think some of you might be a little surprised. So you ready, Jay? Let's roll. Let's get into the first book. As you know, we have five books. We try to keep them the same. At some point, we're going to try to get another batch of books, but I think it's important to kind of take take one batch all the way through uh, until, until we can get a real picture of, of the market. So, Oak 91, Jay. No no uh, surprise here, right? No surprise here. It's all been right. eating up with the, the Deadpool Wolverine news last time we looked at it, but let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this one, you're going to be a little surprised. So, take a quick look. Uh, as of November, we had a 90-day average of 78.80, essentially, with seven sales in the 9.0. We try to take whatever the most sales were, and that's we're, we're going to talk a little bit about that as well coming up, because um, we had to we're going to have to change some things. But I'll explain that. Last sale as of 11.8 was 7100. So go ahead. Let's go ahead and look at the latest data. So uh, 7500 90-day sale. 83.75 last sale. Coming so up. it's coming up. Uh, the 90 day is a, a little down, but if you look at the graph, it looks like it's starting to consolidate a little bit, Jay. It's starting to level out slightly. And then obviously, as we could see, that last sale was a big jump. You hate to take one sale as an indicator, but you got to pay attention to it, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Books like this, blue, this is a blue chipper, right? They say that, some people say that the MCU doesn't really move the needle for these type of books, but I think it does. Someone obviously overpaid a little bit for this book. Someone probably money that just wanted the book, or maybe it was a white pager. We don't know exactly what was going on with this 9.0, but that's a, you know, over a thousand dollar jump. Yeah. And good point, Jay. I forgot to mention that is, we try to pick books that are kind of like Jay said, blue chippers that, you know, people buy regardless of news. It's not the flavor of the month, but like Jay alluded to, you're going to get some bumps up or down depending on what's going on in the world of comics and, and on the big screen. So a little bit deeper dive into the numbers, Jay. And as you could see, kind of bookends, right? The January 4th sale was 8,200. The February 25th sale was 8,375. And then you got a couple 7,000s, high 7,000s in between. The one thing I will note on the J January 30th and the January 23rd, they are down compared to the rest. But those were heritage. Those were auction house books, <clears throat> which we know you end up paying a buyer's premium on. So the person that paid 7,200 paid a, a decent amount more. He probably paid around 75, 76 by the time a buyer's premium and tax and shipping, you know, probably close to $7,700. So you take that into account a little bit because there is, when you buy off eBay, you're not really paying those extra fees. You're paying shipping and tax. You're not paying a buyer's premium. So I, I think that's important to note here, Jay. What do you think? Yeah, no, absolutely. They hammer you on fees, which is absolutely crazy. But I mean, it is what it is. These auction houses have been heating up. And like our previous videos, they've been selling absolute monster grails on that. So you could see uh, where were we at? Eleven sales versus seven in the same time in the ninety-day period. Um, so in, in, on, in November there were seven sales in a ninety-day period, period. This time around there's eleven sales in a ninety-day period. So that's interesting. Take note for later on. But pretty self-explanatory here on the Hulk 181. 
the other books get a little bit more interesting, Jay. <laughs> Neil Adams, Jay. Iconic Beautiful. Neil Adams, man. Batman number 251, probably the most iconic Neil Adams cover on this Batman run. Um, it, not a major key, just a cover, man. Just a cover that everyone loves. Let's see where it's at, Matt. What was it back in November? So back in November, 90-day average was 1396. Last sale was 1350, and we had nine sales in that time period, okay? All um, in a CGC 9.0 defects. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so this is one of the ones where I, where I take note. There was only, look, now you can see as of March 17th, there's only one sale in the 90-day period for a 9.0. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of that because some, as we go down the list, you're going to see something the opposite. Um, but an eighteen, $1,850 sale compared to the, the 90 day average of 1396 or even the last sale of 1350. So an enormous jump in this book. Okay. Um, and then di diving in. So, Oh, what I wanted to do is, so we're going to have to kind of shift sometimes. So what I did was I went down and I looked for what had the most volume of sales in the last 90 days. And it was a six O with nine sales. Okay, and you could see we don't really have anything to compare it to. But if you look at the graph, it's you know it's kind of flat. If you if you look at um, kind of the last chunk of that graph, you have a couple spikes, but for more or less, I mean, even at the tail end, it's headed up. So you know that red indicator on the 90-day average, it's definitely red, which means it's down. But the last 30 days, 40 days, it's been a little higher. So I mean, the last sales here they are. You could see at the bottom of that list, you have a lot of fours and high threes. And as you get to the top of the list, you have more, you have more mid fours yeah. and, and high and low fives. So just looking at our, our eyeballs are telling us that the trend is starting to flatten or even maybe peaking up just a little bit, Jay. It's interesting, guys. And it's something I want to touch on, like we get these guys that overpay a little bit, maybe someone new into the hobby, someone with a little bit more money than other people. But guys, that affects everybody because then you go back to the last sale and now that that's why that price spiked because someone overpaid by 500, in this case, about $500. So always keep that in mind when it comes to buying comic books. Nowadays, everything is tracked through the internet by the serial numbers. So try not to overpay because then it affects the rest of us. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Defects, we got another coupon code for you. It is for comicbookexclusives.com. Our buddies over there are dropping fire exclusives each and every month. Go check them out at comicbookexclusives.com and use code DEFECTS for 20% off your order. Make sure you're following them on, on Instagram as well because they are showing off all the covers that come out on a weekly, monthly basis. Let them know the DEFECTS sent you. Ooh, a book that the, the couple times that we did this, Jay, was always interesting to see this, what this book was doing. This was always an interesting one because huge mega key, right, Jay? What do we got? Fantastic Four, number 48, guys. First full appearance of the Silver Surfer, first cameo of Galactus, huge book. Does not get a lot of love because of the cover, but again, a huge, huge book. You got the Watcher there with a pair of plum dunks on it, looks like. <laughs> but again, a book I have in my collection that I had for years, so I love to see this book trending up. I think this book should always be trending up because it's an iconic character. Those look like some plum Versace, something like X Illusionary would wear. <laughs> My man X. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a look at the last two periods. So in November of 2023, we had a $1,200.90 day average with nine sales, and we had a $1,499 last sale. This was in a CGC 5.0. Sloping down. Slope. Now, come uh, March, look at the last sale. Exactly the same. <laughs> $1,499. And that sold in this month. You had eight sales and you had a 1350 90 day average. So slightly higher 90 day average, same last sale. And if you look at the tail end of that graph, Jay, it's the first time we've seen a flat line on this book in a while. Yeah. I, I don't think this stays like this for long. I And you know what? This is surprising because we got Fantastic Four casting recently. We got Fantastic Four news in the MCU. I mean, I think the first little tidbit we get a Silver Surfer, this book, and also 49, shoot back back up to where it should be. Absolutely. So I thought that was interesting. I think you're going to start to 
realize towards this, this video that we're starting to see consolidation, you know, flatlining, plateauing, you know, maybe the bottom, maybe this, maybe we finally bounced off the bottom a little bit, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. But before we go any further, Jay, we have a big, we have a big announcement. We got something big coming up. I want to talk a little bit about it. April 6th. April 6th, guys, we got King Con 5, the Grand Theft Auto Miami themed King Con, which I am loving right now. We got Claus Jansen there. We got Lee Weeks there. We got Ryan G. Brown there. It's going to be a good time, guys. The Friday night's always awesome. Saturday is going to be a great show. I think we're going to do bigger and better things. As you can see, we're starting to get artists there that have done work on Marvel and DC and stuff like that. We have Dan Parent that's going to be there signing and doing remarks, who does fantastic work on Archie. We will have a Dan Parent Archie book for sale there, along with some other stuff, guys. We will be streaming live, uh, eBay Live from King Con. I can't wait, man. It's going to be, if you're in the tri state area, you got to make it down. We got people coming from Alaska to come hang out, so there's no excuses. That's right. And like Jay said, Come and join us if you can. But if you can't, we are bringing King Con Artist Alley to you April 6th at 2 p.m. We will be live streaming from the show. We will be selling signatures, remarks, sketchbooks, jam pieces, variants, all types of stuff that you would see at a, a comic show or a comic con. There'll be some Silver Age books in there. Don't worry. All right. But we are bringing the show to you. So if you ever wanted a, a, a Claus Jansen signature or remark, we got you covered. Tune into the stream, 2 p.m. The link for that stream is going to be down below. So make sure you click on it, you follow us as a seller, and you hit the reminder on that stream. Pressing service will be available. CGC options will be available. And guys, it's going to be an eBay live weekend because Erod212 and Vary Gary will be streaming similar type of streams on Friday night and Saturday during the day as well. So we're bringing King Con to you if you can't make it to us. What do you think, Jay? That's that's a big step. That's huge. I mean, let's let's keep tradition alive, guys. Bring me some bottles. Every <laughs> year I've gotten a bottle of something. <laughs> Thank you. You guys know who you are. But let's keep this, let's let's keep the momentum rolling. <laughs> exactly. So check out that link down below. It's gonna be an awesome stream. We we're putting in a lot of work to into the stream to make it great for you guys. Um, but you know. Tell us if you want to see something specific. Put it in the comments down below. Tell us what you'd like to see out of that stream that maybe we're not thinking of so we could bring the best possible stream entertainment sales to you on April 6th. All right, guys? Oh, we also have a Stray variant that we'll be selling and ex a King Kong exclusive. Feral, so guys, right? you know Stray has been hot. Is it Stray? Stray dogs. Stray dogs. Feral. Oh, Only no, flex. Feral. 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 That's it. Feral. <laughs> you were close. <laughs> Yeah, Stray cool. dogs. Stray yeah. dogs. Feline and canine. Very similar animals. Um, no, we'll have a we'll have a feral exclusive there. It's gonna be an exorcist homage. So come check that out. You'll see it on our IG, guys. Hop in there. If you can't make it, hop in there early because I know these are these are gonna move quick. Feral's been a hot series. Get back oh. to some books. Market, market watch, market watch. A book favorite near and dear to our hearts, time. Jay. Go ahead. Yep, favorite book of all time. ASM number 129, first appearance of Frank Castle, a.k.a. The Punisher, guys. I mean, whew, this is this is the first major book I bought. I'm excited to see where this is because we've getting little, little tidbits of Bernthal returning as The Punisher in the Daredevil series. I would think that would move the needle a little bit, but I could be wrong. I'm super excited to see what this has been doing. Let's check it out. So in November, we had 16 sales in a CGC 6.5 for the 90-day period at 1329 average and a last sale of 1100 okay, as of 11-8-2023. So this is another one that you have uh, a dip. We didn't necessarily have a dip in the volume, but I'm going to show you some in a moment. So as of, I think I changed the dates, yeah. So I didn't fix the date, but it says as of 11.8 on the screen. That's supposed to be as of 3.17.24. You have 11, uh, 1165 dollar average on the 90 day, which is down, clearly down. And you can see that on the screen. And again, the last sale was exactly the same in March 2024 as it was in November. 
1100 right? So that's funny. That's two books in a row. Now, you can see that line. You have that one major spike. It still is trending down a little bit. But what I thought was very interesting about this book is that when we did these lists a couple times, the higher grades were very scarce for sales, okay? Check this out. An 8 22 copies sold in an 8 in this time period, where I think in the last time period in that, uh, in an 8 was like four sales. So, and if you look at that line, that looks much flatter. So yep. it looks like the money is starting to go to the higher grades again in this particular comic book. And while... You could see the 90 day average is still had that red arrow. I'm going to show you some data here. 1969, 90 day average, a $2,100 last sale. The volume is the, is the story here at 22 copies selling in an 8.0. It's not a cheap book guys. Here's some of that data. Um, that those numbers since January, January, February, and March, you could see a couple little dips there at 1680. You have a 2299, yeah. you have a 2512. But overall, that looks pretty consolidated, meaning that lower lower highs, higher lows, kind of more of a flat line, not as much of a slope up and down, which is what you need to kind of stop a free falling market. You need to bounce off the bottom and level out a little bit. And these numbers here are starting to at least starting to indicate indicate that, Jay. Yeah, I mean, I think in this book, like, listen, having the first appearance of the Punisher in any grade better Low grade to no grade, we say though, right? But I think a seven zero and up for this book is is, is nice. That's that seven zero to nine zero range, but someone got an absolute steal at sixteen eighty there, guys. I mean, this may be the time to buy if you're a fan, man. I mean, books seem to be leveling out. Who knows when the spike will come again? Who knows if we'll have a spike again? D depending on where these shows and movies do, um, but. Listen, a must have, a must have, guys. This might be your time right now to grab an ASM 129. One more book, and then we'll kind of give our final thoughts here. A cover that we can all appreciate here on the Pressable Defects, okay? Absolutely. A little yep. meow. <laughs> we were talking about Feral before, all right? Now we got the real cat, the black cat, okay? Beautiful ASM 607J. I mean, what else can, what else is there to say about this cover? Oof. I mean, what's she laying on? I, I, that cover could have just went up a couple of notches. <laughs> what's she nailing down in over there? <laughs> I'm assuming it's Jules, but I I could see where you're going. I could see yeah. uh, this, you know. I could see the forecast in the future. Is, is, is if, if I'm on the same page as you? <laughs> Either that, or she just trimmed her bush. <laughs> the the drapes match the curtains. <laughs> Oh, pull it together for the last book. Let's yep, go. Here we go. Here we go. November 8th, 2023. We had 13 sales and with a CGC 9.8, obviously modern book. Uh, 90 day average of 242 and a last sale of 275. Um, this is one of the books that looks like it actually did go down, but not by much. Um, the 90 day average was pretty much the same at 244, 12 sales, which is basically the same. But that last sale, someone got a steal at 200 bucks. Um, just taking a look a little bit deeper, look at uh, look at the numbers, 240, 300, 246, 224, 230, 250, and then that bottom price of 200. So again, a little bit of consolidation there. This book was pretty steady on the last video as well. Um, again, last sale, someone got a great deal. Are we gonna see this book sell for 180 next time? I highly doubt it because I would buy this book at 180 all day. Yeah. I mean, this has been a, a three to four hundred dollar book consistently. Um, <clears throat> so a little bit of a dip, but again, I think that's pretty stable. I don't know. What do you think, Jay? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I like the fact that you threw a modern in here that you know, just pretty much a cover buy right there. Um <sighs> Someone got to steal a 200, man. But it's this is the most level we've seen of all the books, probably because it is a modern and it's not a, a, a major, major key besides, you know, a dope cover. But not a book I would particularly buy, not my style of book as opposed to everything else we just seen today. But I mean, just like we've been talking about everything, everything seems to be leveling out on that flat line. Not, not major. I mean, the 181 was a, 
about a thousand dollars. That was a pretty major jump. But besides that, everything seems to be smooth sailing light right now. Yeah. And you mentioned it before. Is it the time to buy regardless of which book it is? Do your research, boys and girls. You don't want to take us as the end all be all. And there's certain books that are going to look better than these trends and certain books that are going to look worse. But everyone was looking for that bottom. Should I buy? Should I pull the trigger? Is it time now? Is it time now? You have to, you can only go on what's in front of you, right? There's no, we don't have a crystal ball. If we did, I mean, we'd be making millions, right? But I don't know. When I start to see things starting to flatten out, if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on something, it may be time for you to start considering it. Look at the variables for yourself and decide, does this make sense for me now? But as far as the market goes, it looks like we're starting, at least it looks, it looks like we're hitting that bottom. Jay, do you have a different take on that or you think that's... No, I think you're right, man. Guys, shop around. That's the most important thing. Don't settle. Alluding back to what I talked to before, if you're going to overpay, it's going to affect everyone and that last sale is going to go up, obviously. Um, Check those cert numbers on CGC. Run them through the system. Everything that's been going on there, you just want to make sure and double check. Also check to see if, you know, even on these slabs, if stuff could be pressed out, if stuff could be cleaned, if you could get a grade bump, you know, um, but do your homework and that's it. Shop, you know, diligently. Don't settle, guys. Buy what you like. There you go. So there's two things that uh, we'll talk about on the live show that I noticed when we were talking about this data. So if you want the extended cut, you got to come hang out with us live this week. It's going to be Thursday night, right, Jay? Uh, we'll still figure out the time, whether it's going to be 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock, somewhere. We'll figure that out, but we'll make an announcement for you guys. But we're going to deviate from the Wednesday night for the next two shows. And then we'll get back to a regular schedule. So come hang out with us Thursday nights. Hit that notification bell so you know when we're putting out a video, which is every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And every time we go live, which is every other week. And then, guys, eBay Live, we talked about it earlier. Click on the link below to save us as a seller. We go live and do live auction dollar starts every Tuesday night around 930, right after Erod and Very Gary. And then make sure you're joining us for April 6th. We have an awesome, awesome live con stream for you guys that there's going to be books that you're probably not going to be able to get to many other places you're not going to see many places selling these books on a live auction so come hang out with us there and until the next video defects